the stakeholder engagement process? Well, stakeholders are usually people who have some form of purpose in the company. Even, you know, your, your employee on the line is technically a stakeholder. But in this case, what's happened is a lot of these stakeholders are companies like BlackRock and Vanguard. And, oh, Bill Gates just invested a billion dollars in the company. And once those things get their tentacles inside your $78 billion business, they start to tell you what you have to do and who you have to hire. And that's where you get this DEI shit inside the corporations. So what you're trying to say in simplest terms is they're getting tentacle porn. They are getting tentacle porn. Yep. They are. Yeah. And we, as the normal people who hold the stock in these companies, are ultimately yep. going to pay the price for this. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's right here, too. It's, uh, regulators, non-governmental organization events and forums, government regulator meetings, industry groups and forums. Those are the and they're investors, of course, which would be BlackRock and Vanguard. But with the regulators, with the non-governmental organizations, they're talking about groups like the SPLC or the ADL who will come in and say, uh, you All can't right. serve pork rinds on your flights because that's anti-Semitic. Hang on, hang on. The, the, the... ADL, and what was the other one? SPLC, Southern Poverty Law Center. I, first of all, they are nothing. Mm. They are nothing burgers with big opinions that people mm. listen to. That they're, is it. They're bullies. Yes. They are the classic definition of a bully. They just shove their way into wherever they want, say whatever they want, and scream until you do it. Correct. Then they'll go buy a judge and make you pay them $10 million. But the ADL has been sued for defamation quite a few times throughout history. The, the ADL literally, and this is their own story on their own site. So YouTube, suck it. Go look at the ADL origin story. They formed to defend a pedophile in Georgia who had raped and murdered a 13-year-old girl and then tried to blame it on the black janitor. This was in 19... 19- 13 Georgia, I want to say. Mm -hmm. So the white townsfolk believed the black janitor over the Jewish pencil factory owner in 1913 Deep South Georgia when the Civil War was still within memory and they didn't touch the black guy. Hmm. Which tells me that the pencil factory manager was probably at fault and got hanged for it. He was sentenced to hang. The ADL came down and pressured the judge who moved him to another county. So the townsfolk went and literally got him out of the jail and brought him back to the town and carried out the rest of the sentence that he had been sentenced to. Hmm. Well, that's mob justice. It happens. Yes. Yeah. I don't want to see it because it's quite ugly. But the but sentence had already been passed. He had been sent to hang. I, I got you, but the it's ADL still ugly. It, out. Yeah, I it, know. Is, it is still ugly. But in this particular case, because the sentence had already been passed and the, and the proper trial and everything had happened, I'm all for it. All right. Because those people had justice taken from them. I, I understand. I understand. But here's the thing, though. We, we had a trial. We had a sentencing. I got you. But the whole DEI thing is literally eroding... Uh, basically our trust in the system. Yes. Little piece. It's like a death of a thousand paper cuts. Yes. That's exactly what's happening. Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for Supporter Sundays, go to redonculus.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the Meat Gazer box.